Hello there, we're going to do something totally different today. Still CB related. For four years I was working as a radio communications consultant in business radio. Here we go, we've got more military jet jets going over us. And people say to me, well, what kind of range am I going to expect? And we've got to take these questions into consideration. And I'm going to do this so you can write this down and you can do this yourself. This is properly researched by American, German and British governments in papers published in the 1960s. And um, I kind of turned this into 27 meg information for us in the late 80s and did an article in Citizens Band magazine. And this works and this is true and this is how when you're needing to know range for communications in military or in, in business uh, situations, you can do this. But I say this has been worked out for 27 megs. It would work from probably 27 to 70 megs. So we've got to take into consideration the output power of station A, the output power of station B, the antenna height of station A and the antenna height of station B. The antenna gain of station A and the antenna gain of station B. The worst case receiver sensitivity and total coax loss and the kind of terrain. Now I'm going to do a, I'm going to work an example. Now you've heard me talk to Electric Man. Okay, he lives 8.8 .8 miles away and receives me about S4, something like that. Now we've got a table here. So if I'm running 4 watts just zoom this out a little bit so hopefully you can see both the papers if I'm running 4 watts which obviously I am unless I'm running 3.2 then it's going to score a 0 so there is a 0 and if he's running 4 watts then that scores a 0 too Okay. Antenna height. Well, my antenna is 20 feet. Well, if, my, if 12 foot is minus 9 and 25 foot is 0, well, it's something in between, isn't it? It's probably about, um, it's probably about minus 4. Well, you could calculate this exactly, but let's go for that. But his aerial is, is 25 feet, so it's 0. Now antenna gain, well, variations on a theme, this is reference to a half wave dipole, nothing to do with isotropic, You'll, when you buy an antenna they'll often give you an isotropic figure, that is a fictitious figure, it doesn't exist it's kind of plucked out of thin air so we're working over a half wave dipole and a half wave dipole is zero decibels so when you've got oh I've got a sigma 4 and it's you know, I don't know four and a half decibels gain well it isn't because a decibel is 2.8 gain over isotropic so you're only looking at something 1.8 gain over isotropic so it would score 1.8 well my aerial has, is a half wave dipole so it's zero. I think his aerial is a 5 eighths wave. It probably is plus one. I'll tell you what, we'll put plus 0 0.5. Okay. So the next thing is the receive sensitivity. Now, you're not likely to come up against worse than two microvolts. That scores zero, one microvolt scores 40, uh, plus seven, half a microvolt plus 13, and 0.25 microvolts plus 19. You, this is usable sensitivity. You know, you're not going to, you know, when I say, well, we can just about screw 0 0.05 of a microvolt out, you wouldn't be able to copy anybody at that. So, let's supposing we were using um, a half decent set, which did half a microvolt and, and um, you know, work well. Uh, and so it was called plus 13. So let's suppose we've both got 
half decent sets that do that. I mean, I, I unboxed a, a new Albrecht, Al isn't it? A 6190 with a splittable front. And I could only just achieve one microvolt, which by today's standards isn't good. Yet some of those Amstrads will do 0 0.25. But remember, of course, there's three Amstrads. There's the Made in Japan 900 901. There's the Made in Hong Kong 901, which isn't quite as good. Then there's the Pirate Copy Made in Hong Kong, which isn't as good as that, mainly on the Squalsh. Now then your coax loss has to be taken into situation. Well, I'm using some uh, thin stuff, but it's not that far. It's, it's only There's only 25 feet of it or something. He's probably using 50, 50 feet. Well, let's, let's put minus two in there. Now the terrain is the next thing. Well, he lives in a town. And I live in flat, dry... Um, rural. So if we interpolate those figures, we're probably at what eight, nine, ten, eleven divided by two is minus five point five. That seems fair enough. So if we add all that up, we've got let's add the minuses up. We've got minus four, minus six, minus eleven and a half, minus twelve, and plus thirteen. So minus twelve plus thirteen is plus one. Is the answer. So now let's have a look at what range we could expect in this situation. And plus one will actually give us, it's just between the, uh, the 14 and the 15, it's going to give us something like 14 and a half miles. And that's absolutely true. So there we are. Now let's work this example again. This time We'll say, I'm talking to him, same person, but in my car. So we've still got 4 watts output on both radios. The antenna height on station A, which is going to be me, is now minus 15. So cross that out, minus 15. His height remains the same. My antenna gain... I've actually got a mini Springer on my car, which is drilled into the roof. This always assumes drilled into the roof. If you're using mag mounts and, and those kind of mounts, you've got to deduct some points here. Um, so let's say shortened uh, one is minus two. So receiver sensitivity that remains the same. The lo the coax loss is slightly less, so we'll just give it minus one because I haven't got a loss anymore because I've only got six feet of coax on it. And the terrain will keep the same. So this time we've got minus 15, minus 30, minus 35, minus 36 and a half, plus half is minus 36. So what is minus 36 going to get us in range? Minus 36 is going to get us somewhere around 4 miles. And that's that's the truth. It's the kind of thing you're going to get. And then finally, we'll do a, a totally different one. We'll start a new sheet for this so it doesn't get confusing. You've been out and you've bought your kids some of those 200 milliwatt walkie talkies. You bought them a pair of Harvard 020s. Let's work that example. Well, this time, you've got only 200 milliwatts output, so let's give it minus 17 on each. Antenna height, minus 15. Antenna gain, if you're using the telescopic, it's going to be minus 5. And if you use the rubber duck, it would be minus eight. So we're going to we're not going to use rubber ducks. We will we'll pull up the telescopic and poke our eyes out. So we'll have minus five on that, minus five on that. Receive sensitivity. Well, they're one microvolt. So they're going to be plus seven. There is no coax loss. And we're going to do this in open country. You're going to do it round my house here, in the middle of nowhere, and that's flat and dry so it's minus three 
So we've got quite a lot to add up there. So we've got 30, 60, 64, 74, uh, 81, minus 2 is minus 78. So let's look what that would give us on a couple of those walkie-talkies. Find the right uh, sheet here. Minus 78 is going to give you, it's gone off the scale, about 0.1 of a mile. And that's exactly what you're going to get. So I hope you've just found that interesting using this type of data. And um, I'll just leave that one there for a moment. So your worst case one was minus 60. Our little example went beyond that. I was being silly with that. But it, that was the worst case. And you're not going to be, unless you're at sea, you're not going to be seeing these plus 48s. So there you go.